Hello everyone, my name is Dredden and we are back in Conan Exile. So today I plan on building an elevator. Let's uh, have some fun and let's do this. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to need to do to get the elevator is actually buy the skills. So let's do this. Okay guys, so the elevator is in your knowledge area, so if you press the O button, you can bring it directly up and then you need to go over to construction. And then elevators right here, let's... Uh, buy this thing if we can costs two requires level 19 i am currently level uh 25 or 26 so i'm gonna buy this one and just see what it takes okay guys so the elevator is made in the carpenter's bench and you have two flavors you have the vertical elevator and the horizontal elevator i plan on doing both and here's why over here, I've got this wonderful pillar type rock, and I want to have an elevator over there. A horizontal elevator. Down here, I have water, water, and iron. And it's just a nicer way to go down and kind of head this way over towards the uh, areas that have, uh, I think this is the Descent of Dagon over here, and the uh, city of Az Zelha is past that. The western barracks is just across there, right? And so, you know, if I can just take an elevator down, that makes my day easier. So these elevators require 30 iron, some shaped wood, number eight, and some twine. Uh, and it is the same for both. So uh, let's make ourselves some shaped wood. Shaped wood is created also in the carpenter's bench with 10 logs per one. So I guess we're gonna need 80. That's not too bad, I think I have 80. Uh, let me just gather up these things and let's do this. Okay, so you take your logs and then you're just gonna have to go over to your shaped wood and craft number eight. I believe the shaped wood was unlocked when I unlocked the carpenter's bench. So it's just part of this one. This here is a bow. I'll do another tutorial on that in just a little bit. So what else do we need? Ah, twine. I'll be right back. It takes quite a bit of uh, harvesting to get, you know, twine. But if you hit up pretty much every bush you have when you're wandering around collecting other resources, you'll build it up. Um, so I've had a stash um, laying around. So I think we can do this. Um, you know, the most practical one first is probably the vertical one. I really do want to get this one done, but we're going to do this one. Okay, I have my iron, all the other things I need. We're just going to craft one vertical elevator, because this will also help us get more iron nodes that are down below. Plus, I can get water if I need only water. So, I'm not really sure if this is a valid point, but we could try it. Uh, I can also put it here, but I think what would happen is that it would go in a different spot. Um, let me just show you that. Uh, let me see here. Four. So when you do that, it'll probably just try to do something right below us. I would like to go out one more foundation to have this go down. Uh, what I'll probably do is create um, sort of a ring of six here. So let me just do that. Okay guys, so as far as I can tell, that pretty much probably goes all the way down. <laughs> Might nick this rock here. Let's just try it and find out. And if you want to move it, uh, put it in the wrong place, you can press E and return it to your inventory to place again. Alright guys, so um, I've had to put um, a number of these little sandstone roofs out here. I expanded this and made it pretty stable, but then... I tried this once, uh, right where I'm standing on this sandstone block here, and it wasn't quite far enough, so we're going to put it here. Now this works pretty well, uh, and it also puts down a block where it's going to uh, land, so let's just see this here. Yep, there we go. Down we did go, all the way down to that little block down there, and from there I will maybe make a small little uh, entryway uh, going up. Is this going to clip through the texture a little bit? Well, 
No, it doesn't. Cool. So that's that. These Komodo dragons are probably going to try to eat me, but the next thing will be to build one across. So I'm going to grab a drink of water, some more iron down here, and then uh, we'll go back up. To get back up also, yeah, you just have to uh, click on this little skull guy here. This little skull will bring you up. So I'll see you back up top when we are going to create one to go across there. And here is my encumbered butt back up top. All right, let me drop some stuff off. All right, guys, it looks like we can make our horizontal one finally. So let's craft that up. Now, for you guys, you know, you can do whatever you want. Um, you know, putting one here to go straight across might be fine for you guys. What I think I might try is to try to put it on the other side of this elevator. That may not work. Let me give it a shot. So you can't just place it on the other side. As I can, oh, maybe? No. So as I kind of thought, um, I'll probably have to build some of these, um, more of these little things going on here. Um, it also isn't letting me rotate it, which is interesting. Um, my guess is the only place it can connect to anything is straight across, and so it's only allowing me to do that. You may want to try that in your own game, but it should be just the mouse wheel, rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. Isn't doing anything for me. So let me uh, fix what I'm going to do here, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys. Um, after quite a while, I uh, got all this set up. I needed to put in a couple more foundations and whatnot. Yeah. The grind is real. So, here it is. We have to put it in just uh, like that. Kaboof. And it builds a little bit of a connector over there. And now we go. Uh, click. And we watch ourselves go over there. For the sake of vanity. Um, so, I guess I'm going to have to bring it all the way back. Uh, okay, I see the little thing to come back. Uh, it'll be interesting now that I have to build something over here. To kind of merge this onto my base. Um... Which is way kind of over there now, but combined with this, so it's kind of, I don't know, weird. I'm also kind of curious to know about what's going to happen with the gods, or the uh, plague, or whatever that happens. Um, yeah, anyway. That, there you go, there's some elevators. Some horizontal and some vertical. Uh, the vertical seems to have quite the distance. Let me see if I can find some numbers for you real quick. Alright, and so, let's write this back and let's talk a little bit about elevators. Okay, so apparently the range on an elevator is something like 32 or 36, uh, depending on the video and maybe even changing with a patch. I don't actually know. Uh, lots of people say these 25 to 28 blocks, uh, depending on stuff, <laughs> right? Um, so this here, I don't really know how deep this is, uh, but it's pretty high up so it's gonna take a lot of blocks um, but I mean you can judge by yourself you know that's a, a respectable distance but I couldn't get it to rotate and go that way so you know it'll be interesting to see if I can build one maybe from here over to there don't know I guess you can stay tuned for future videos it's also possible I might be able to span one from this lower area down to over there. Of course, I would have to actually do the measurements, but because I didn't build this as a tower, I'm just using the natural landscape, I can't give you a, a real number. But most of the things that I've seen say 28-ish. Oh, so go with that number. Uh, you're gonna have to give it a try. You might have to build some blocks below it to get up to it, like a little platform and then some more stairs or something. Um, and then, yeah, I guess that's that. And this is one of those cases too where, you know, the whole idea of protection and climbing walls and stuff isn't really a concern of mine. I know some people have mentioned it. 
like I said, I'm mostly interested in going from up here to down there without having to run across this entire freaking island. Um, it's just, this would be easier. I can just go up and down. Um, yeah, if you do know more about the distances, uh, you can send me a message, comment, and I will update the uh, description. So if it says confirmed in there, then that will be what I've been told it is. Alright guys, well, if you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more Conan videos from me or other videos that you may have seen on my channel, please hit, hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get up to a thousand still. And beyond that, I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.